Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another video. Happy Wednesday, happy Thursday. If you happen to be new here, if you just happen to be new, I want to say thanks for stopping by. I hope that this video helps or this message helps you today. Yes, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in booking me for a private reading, if you want to book me for a private reading, I am available collective. Happy birthday, Pisceans. Celebrating your birthday today. Happy Pisces season. Yeah, you may want to go to a Taurus resides in your chart. You may be a Taurus here. Mm -hmm. Taurus may be your chart's ruler. I know Taurus rules my chart, okay? Yes, my, my ascendant is in Taurus, so that's my chart ruler, I believe. And, you know, Venus rules Taurus. So you may want to go see what Taurus resides in your chart today. Or you should definitely go check out your rising sign. Okay, that's going to indicate whatever planet that rules your ascendant sign is going to be the chart's ruler, your chart's ruler. Okay, mine happen to be Venus, the planet of love. My chart ruler happens to be the planet of love. Yours may be Pluto. Okay, perhaps your rising is in Scorpio. Mm. So Pluto will... Pluto would be your chart's ruler, okay? Very powerful, dynamic individual. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into this message. I don't know what's going to come out. I don't know what's going to come out. We're just going to have to find out together. Please take this message how it resonates. <sighs> take the reading how it resonates. Don't try to make a reading fit. If it doesn't fit, it's just simply not your story. Take what you need from the message and leave the rest. Yeah, there's something about you needing to know your rising sign, okay? Also, your north node, your north node, where's your north node? Okay, go look up those placements in your chart. That's very, very critical that we know these placements in our chart collective. I feel like if you're watching my channel, okay, you you, you may be a seasoned tarot professional, okay? You know about the chart. You may know your chart better than me, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and tap into the energies and let's see what's going on. Thank you, ancestors of the highest white light. You know, thank you for watching over us watching over us, protecting us, loving us, and keeping us safe. Okay, amen. Overall energies today, collective, you could be 34 years old. Ugh, we got the moon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hearing, please hold on to my love. Please hold on to my love. You could be 43 years old. Mm -hmm. Somebody from the past is still holding on to you. But I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Don't be, okay? Don't be surprised. You probably got three, four, five, six, ten people still holding on to you from the past. But there's at least one in particular significant person here. Okay. We got the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, perhaps they want to rekindle something with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to rekindle something with you. Or perhaps you have recently rekindled something with Old Flame, perhaps. Uh, old Love Interest. Mm -hmm. It's possible, okay. You could be an Aries, 23 years old. Seven of Wands, mm -mm, it's possible, but in some instances, it's just not going to happen. The Seven of Wands, uh-uh. There is somebody in this message right now that's saying, uh-uh, I don't want you back. Don't come near me. Don't even think about calling me. Don't text me. Don't even think about approaching me because uh, it's not going to happen, okay? There's at least one person watching this message that is not going for it, okay? She's not going for it. He's not. I'm hearing Morris. M-O-R-R-I-S. Morris is not going forward. Okay, he doesn't want you back. He doesn't want any associations or dealings with you. You could be a female in masculine energy. Mm-hmm. We got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups and the Hermit. You could be a Virgo here. You could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something significant about you having you haven't seen this person in a while. You haven't talked to these people or that individual in a while. And you know what? You know, you know, you know, the, you know, the secret of life. OK, you know, the best way to do it is just to continue to persevere, move forward. Anything that's meant to be in my life, I ask God to let it be. Anything that does not have my highest good, I ask God to never let it be. Anything that's trying to come back with ulterior motives or, or hidden motives, I ask God to expose them and, and, and strip them raw and bare and let them never come before me. OK, you just got to speak that stuff. Okay, there's somebody here that's not going for it. Okay, I feel like you could be a Virgo. Okay, 
you've been hidden or you just not fucking with this person. You could be a Gemini. You could be an Aquarius here. We got the musician. Okay, Virgo is an alchemist. Virgo is an alchemist. She or he, they manifest rapidly and they're powerful manifestors. You could be an Aquarius here. You could be somebody that works in the public eye. You could be a star, a celebrity, or you're meant to be famous. You just could simply be meant to be known, darling. Okay, little lady, you're meant to be known. You could have a public platform. You may need to really consider that if you haven't. I'm picking up on a country person here, a male, okay? Country individual here. Mm. It's like you may be somebody that goes away, you manifest quietly, or you just get quiet and you manifest and you just pop out, okay? People haven't heard from you, <clears throat> your friends, you know, certain colleagues, certain family members haven't seen you in a while, and all of a sudden you just pop out, okay? You pop out with a new man, you pop out with a new woman, you pop out with a new job, okay, or a Mercedes, you just pop out with your own business. You are a powerful manifester, and you know how to manifest, period, and you just pop out, okay? You don't got to talk about it, you just be about it, mm-hmm. This definitely is a male watching this. Because I'm picking up on Morris. Okay, this is a man that's watching this. He's like, I don't want her back. I'm not thinking about him. I don't want no nothing from the back. Okay, something. Somebody may want to take you from the back. I don't want nothing back from the past. Okay, we got the king of pentacles. This is a powerful manifesting man. Here. Man, this man is about his business. Okay, he may have women that try to come back. You know, still trying to leech off of him. Leech off of them for financial reasons. Okay. Yeah, they still want daddy's pockets. Mm hmm He may, he may, this guy that's this guy that I'm reading for at this particular moment, you know, he may have his pick of the litter. He could choose who he want. Okay, he got that bag. Something is over. <laughs> it's it's just over. And somebody got their sword up and they're not gonna tolerate it. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if this is you, you're not even tolerating no friends back, okay, family members back. You're so guarded and you're so protective of yourself and you're so defensive that you're not even letting anyone back in. You may just be closed off and you're not letting anyone in just in general. Ah, ah. Okay, <laughs> you're just not. You're just not, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the two of coins and the knight of wands. Oh boy. Yeah, perhaps somebody tried to juggle you with somebody else and not even want to try to come back, but they still juggling. They still coming up as a musician. They still playing. Perhaps, perhaps this person is uh, known to the public. Okay, they could be an entertainer, a rock star. Okay, they get a lot of attention. A lot of people notice them. A lot of people want them. So you know, they may have a reputation of being um, a, a get around type of person. Okay, they just get around. You got the Ace of Swords. Hmm. I rebuke all negative energy in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Okay, we got the Four of Swords. <laughs> Even when this motherfucker's sleeping, he's thinking about fucking or sex or something like that. We got the Four of Swords and the Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could be your twin flame, baby. Okay. Yep, we got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, he wants your back. She wants your back. Who cares? Let's focus on moving forward in this particular message, okay? Because a lot of people in the collective is not even going to entertain their ass, okay? So we're going to progressively move forward. Let's see what's coming in. New, what is current energy? Because, you know, that person is always going to want you, whether they're, whether they're your twin flame or whether they're just your ex-husband, your ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, okay? There's always going to be at least one person that's going to want you, okay, collective, and that's just that, okay? Let's just move forward. We got the Ace of Cups. You got a lot of love to give, period. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can go where you want. You can do what you want. You can hook up with who you want. There's no shackles on your feet. There's nothing holding you back. Only limitations that you may have may be mental or, you know, the limitations that you place upon yourself. And you should not do that, okay? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, okay? I feel like you're a free individual here. Mm-hmm. The Seven of Swords. You're tired of that sneaky shit. You could be someone that could be considered sneaky, okay? People may not trust you. You know, you you just coming up as somebody that's, like, you just get quiet and you manifest, okay? And you pop out with your shit. Everybody don't need to know your business. I feel like uh, people don't... <laughs> People don't know your business. They try to get in your business, okay? But you you, you, you run a tight ship, and you keep, and you play your cards very close to your chest, okay? It's hard to get in your life. 
it, it's hard to get in your energies. It's just hard to get in your life. People may do spells to get in your energies, though, okay? But you're not going to tolerate that stupid shit. I feel like you're someone that knows how to st stay two steps ahead of your enemies, your opponents, your rivals. You know how to stay ahead of these motherfuckers. You, can out you know how to outsmart them, okay? Mm -hmm. You may be strategizing. I feel like I'm speaking to a master strategist who knows how to move through life, okay? She's not going to be dictated or, you know what I'm saying? Or he's not going to let life... You know, he's not going to drift, okay? I heard someone say that. She's not going to be, you know, she's not going to drift through life. He's not going to drift through life. He's going to he's gonna manipulate life, and he's going to manipulate, she's going to manipulate things to gear it towards his or her objective, which is to get what they came here to get, okay? And sometimes you got to get in that seven of swords sneaky type of energy so you can keep certain type of motherfuckers away from you. Okay, we got the nine of coins. She's independent. He's self-sufficient. He's a boss. She's a boss. You are a boss. Okay. Period. You could be a Leo. <laughs> you got a boss to watch over you. His name is God. Okay. God Almighty watches over you. He sees the opposition. He sees the rivals. He sees everything. We got the three of swords. He sees the heartbreak. He sees the betrayal. There's just somebody that you left in the past. And it's good that you left them in the past because <laughs> everybody can't sit next to an emperor or empress or everybody doesn't deserve. They don't deserve it. Ooh, there's something about chocolate. Ooh, you may, you may, you may, you may like desserts, or you may be a baker. I'm seeing like melted chocolate, perhaps strawberries dipped in chocolate, or bananas, or something like that. Okay, but yeah, you've been betrayed. You've been hurt. Mm-hmm. You got the nine of wands. <laughs> you could currently be feeling like, oh, I don't know if I could keep going. I'm giving it my all, but I don't know if I could keep going. And I'm here to say, keep going. We all need to encourage each other. We just gotta keep pushing forward. You could be 50 years old. We just got to keep pressing on, baby. We got to run this race. We got to run this race. And we got to press on. We got to press on, okay? So even if you feel like you can't go on, I'm here to encourage you. You can you can go on. I feel like this is a male watching this, period. Or this is a male that's... <sighs> yeah, it's a man watching this, okay? Okay, we got the King of Cups. And we got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> You don't let your feelings dictate your moves. You know, some people let their feelings override everything and they fuck up their life. You're somebody that knows how to uh, be strategic. Once again, you're going to you're going to manipulate things to gear it you to gear it towards your direction or your favor in life. OK, you're not going to let your emotions fucking drag you to hell. OK, we got the will of fortune and a knight of pentacles. There's a connection that's been coming in for you. It may have been taking a little longer than most. OK, mm hmm. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you're going to get married, honey. You're meant to be married. Or you're meant to be in some sort of long-term commitment. Possibly with a Libra. Perhaps you're blocking love out. Okay? You don't want that shit. Okay? Or perhaps you don't see it's coming. Perhaps you're not aware. <laughs> perhaps you are aware. Okay? The energy is here, baby. We got the Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. You went through some pretty harsh situations here, okay? You went through some pretty harsh situations here, okay? Mm -hmm. We got the two of wands. I feel like your true love or whoever this person that you're meant to be with, they have ended out a cycle, a brutal one, okay? The ten of swords, that's a brutal, harsh cycle. Mm. They could be currently getting up their strength to ask you out. They may know you already, okay? They may be getting up their courage, their strength just to get out of the bed and continue on. Despite facing massive obstacles and challenges, okay, just like you. Yes, this could be a soulmate that's coming in, okay, period. We got the Seven of Cups. I'm hearing Marie. The Seven of Cups, yeah, and the Empress, this person that's coming in, okay, I'm hearing March, May, okay, whenever they come in or whenever you see them or whenever you meet them or whenever God allows this situation to happen for you, just know that this person probably has a divorce, okay, he probably got a divorce or she has a divorce or a serious breakup or two under their belt, okay? They feel some sort of mental confusion and fog about the situation. They could be in that process of healing, okay? You know, you heal. We got to heal. We got to heal. Emotional traumas, okay? It can plague us for lifetimes. Depending on how serious of a relationship or devastating of a breakup was, it could take years. <laughs> it could take years. You may like mango, okay, cantaloupe. Yeah, this person has a baby mama, they got a wife, or she has a ex-husband or a baby daddy. Okay. They're they're this person is like your angel. They're like your angel. They're like a guardian angel. They're gonna be protective over you. Okay. 
okay this person may need to get more balance okay we got the hangman they're they're in action mode okay make no mistake about it the hangman coming out in reverse so this person is already finished out of the cycle period they've finished it out they finish out of marriage they finish out a relationship or that shit is just um headed to the finish line of being finished if that makes any sense yeah they may be taking the action towards you know getting a divorce attorney or you know letting their um what they call it letting their petitions be known and before the court or to their person okay this is how i want this to go they could be somebody that's very reasonable you know take it how it resonates we got the five of ones there's some drama here you see what i'm saying the knight of swords this person is defensive they got some they got some situations that's in the background that's got them in a defense defensive type of energy i'm hearing divinity definite divinity da vinci you could be catholic you could definitely be catholic you could have a cruc crucifix okay in your house you could go to a cathedral, okay? This person may be Catholic, okay? Take the reading how it resonates, okay? But they definitely got their sword up and they're definitely in that sort of aggressive type of energy, you know? This is what I want. And this is what it is. This is what it's not going to be. And no, there's no there's no room. This is a man. <laughs> there's no room for reconciliation here. There's no room here. This person is moving on here. The King of Wands, he feels good to be free. I'm going to say that because I feel that. Okay, the king of wands and the page of wands. He could talk to his friends now. He could hang out. She can be with her homegirls. She can actually move around. She could be free. She feels a sense of liberation or he feels that he may not speak about it. Or it may only happen at moments at a time, okay? Maybe once a day, maybe five minutes out of his day, he thinks, oh my goodness, I'm free. He gets excited, you know? He feels liberated, okay? But then he goes back into his shell because he has to heal okay we got the king of swords he goes back into his shell and the tower yeah he brought a brutal end to a relationship or a situation he finally put his foot down and said enough is enough that's it okay this person can get very strict the king of swords and the tower oh they could shake some. you know what i'm saying you know how they say shake some, shake some. this motherfucker can shake something if you want to shake that motherfucking tree he gonna shake that tree period so he knows how to stand up for himself she knows how to stand up for herself this is the type of person that says you know they may just hold a lot of stuff in and when they blow up you better get out of the way okay they bring the tower and the king of swords that's somebody that can um uh, take your life okay this person could be very brutal <laughs> okay if you push them to that point where you know they they have to get like that it's not going to be well for you okay it's not going to end well for you I feel like he's a gentle giant. This man is like a gentle being. This female, she's she's this woman, she's like a gentle person. They may have issues eternalizing things. They don't speak about it. You know, you got to talk about it. You got to speak about what you're feeling, no matter how hard it is. Sometimes you got to speak up. I mean, you're married. You're in a commitment. You got to have those tough conversations. You just do. Okay, perhaps this person doesn't like to have the uncomfortable, tough situations or conversations, but it's killing them to not be expressing this shit. And they build it up and then they erupt. Oh, boy. I see the tower in the three of pentacles. This person has freed themselves from a connection or a relationship. This could be business, too. They've ended out a connection with a business partner. They left a company. They started a company. They have the ability to fire people, to hire people. Okay. This person decided to put the tower down on somebody and end the connection. Point blank, period. He loved her. Because I feel like this is a man. She loved him. The Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. We got the Ten of Wands. The Four of Cups. There was some sort of... There was something that he was discontented. Okay, you know, boredom six. Boredom. Okay, he may have gotten bored with the connection or, you know, the lack of a connection okay there was something missing and i'm not gonna go deep into why people would have whatever whatever just know that you know he's in it out of relationship or a relationship is just not going well it's, it will be finished out or it's already over and you know what this man made up his mind this female made up her mind this woman made up her mind okay this person probably just got tired of somebody's shit and they just said you know what enough is a fuck enough they need to learn how to be more expressive and talk about what they feel without raging okay Learn how to communicate. <laughs> okay, we got the five of coins and the fool. Damn. Huh. Mm. The five of coins and the fool. This person could have took a lot of financial losses dealing with a relationship or a marriage or a spouse or a partnership. They took a financial loss, no doubt. 
perhaps because they were foolish. Perhaps this person needs to be more financially responsible, if that makes sense. Not just in relationships, but just in his life or her life, okay? It's very likely that they need to make better financial decisions. They could be reckless with their money. They could make impulsive decisions. And, you know, they could, they could, I'm definitely seeing somebody at the racetrack, okay? They could gamble. They could do big things and take big risks and, you know, really, really blow through a lot of their money. And I don't care who you with. <laughs> that could definitely cause a lot of contentions in a relationship, okay? This person could have been single since the year 2020 or their marriage really started to deteriorate or go down, go down the hill in the year 2020, okay? Remember, this is somebody you're going to be meeting, okay? This is somebody like a soulmate, okay? He's a soulmate. She's a soulmate. Yes, I don't feel like this is somebody from the past, although it could be. You got to take the messages, how it resonates, okay? You could be rekindling something. Remember, I spoke about it opening up the reading. You could be rekindling a connection, okay? A connection could come back or it could come into full fruition. This could also indicate this is somebody completely new, honey. You haven't met him. You haven't met her. Or if you have, it was brief, okay? Remember, soulmates always see each other. You'll be surprised how how often you run into your soulmate and you don't realize it or, you know, maybe you don't consciously think, okay? But I feel like he's already in your energetic field. She's already in your energetic field. Mm -hmm. We got the page of swords. <laughs> They could have had somebody that was reckless, recklessly spending their money. Okay, now they're watching their bank accounts. And they're watching their, they're watching, they're watching their person spending habits. You know what I'm saying? This man works hard. You know, now you out here blowing his money, just frivolously just blowing the money. You know, this person could have a strict budget and shit like that. And then he marries someone, or he's engaged, or he's in a relationship with someone who's reckless. Okay, she spends recklessly. He spends frivolously. Okay, this person got mad, okay? If they hadn't exploded because, you know, the tower, what what came out? It was a tower and um, the king of swords. If they haven't exploded yet, um, I'm pretty sure if they're still in that connection, that explosion will happen. <laughs> they're going to put the hammer down. And I feel like whoever they, whoever that they explode on is going to be shaking. She's going to be trembling because she may have never seen the side of this person. She may literally run for fear of her life. <laughs> She should. The King of Swords and the Tower. You better get the fuck out of his way, okay? He's tired of your shit, ma'am. You, he, he's just over your shit. It's not even cute. I don't give a fuck how fine you are. I don't give a damn how fat your ass is. I don't give a damn how small your waist is, girl. That man tired. You blowing all his money, okay? He worked hard for that money. That lady tired. She come home after working and she cooking for you and you just blowing through her money. Okay. Somebody got tired here. Or there's going to be that happening. Period. <sighs> I would hate to see this person rage. I'm just saying the tower and the king of swords. I would hate to see that. Period. They may have an anger issue. <laughs> they may have a tendency to just bottle, bottle shit up. Okay. We got this. They bottle. They bottle their shit up. They bottle. Bottle. They could be drinking. Okay. They may. They may try to drown out their sorrows by drinking or drugging. Okay. Or fucking or sleeping around or acting. You know, rebellious. Oh, my wife is being a bitch today. I'm just gonna go do something stupid. You know, it's very childish. So this person has some sort of emotional immaturity a little bit. Okay. It just could be he's linking up with the wrong type of people. We got the six of <laughs> the six of coins and the judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm. His spiritual team is not happy with this shit. I'm just telling you what I see. They're just not. Okay. He may have made a bad decision in his partner. I mean, who hasn't? We all have. Okay, let's just talk about it. No one is perfect and no one will ever be perfect. We got the five of swords. Mm. And we got the chariot. This is the type of person that they may pick arguments. They may start fights or they may get mad and just walk out the house and go just do some crazy shit because they're mad. Okay, they need to work on that. That's childish. Okay, we got justice. <laughs> this person could be a Libra. They could be Cancer. They could have Cancer in their chart. They could be Scorpio. They have water in their chart. Mm -hmm. This person is going to laugh all the way to the damn divorce attorney's office. Okay, once they make up their mind to be finished with somebody, that's just it. Okay, they may actually literally laugh at the person like, bitch, I tried to warn you. Okay, I was patient with you. <laughs> I was patient with you. I gave it everything I could. Okay. I gave it my valid effort. I did the best I could here. 
this is the type of person like they may be a Virgo, they may have Aquarius in their chart. Because once they once a Virgo, once an Aqua, once Virgo Aquarius cut you off, or once they they dis you know emotionally when they emotionally close off from your ass, you're through. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Mm hmm. This was a family situation that this person was in. I feel like they're divorced, they're broken up, or they're going to be, or they're in some connection that it's just going to be a matter of time before they snap, okay? Or, or they're just going to continue to go through a cycle of just crazy shit and drama until they get fed up, you know? You know how they say when a woman's fed up, there's nothing you can do about it? The same thing with a man. When he's tired, he's tired. And there's nothing you can do, and there's nothing you should do. There's lessons that they have to learn. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands. <laughs> the Eight of Wands. Mm, this is the type of person that'll sneak and call somebody in the, on, on their phone in the house. Don't piss him off, okay? Because he'll be, he, you don't even, he don't even got to be pissed off. If he want to talk to somebody, he going to do it. We got the Nine of Swords. Huh. This person is mental. Like, they have a lot of mental dialogue. They could be an Aquarius, a Virgo, Gemini, Okay. They are an overthinker. They could also be an overworker, an overachiever, or a high achiever. They have a great stamina when it comes to achieving goals in life. Okay, period. But they could have issues related to anxiety, depression, alcoholism, drug addiction, sex addiction. They eternalize so much. And they try to help everybody and do the right thing by everybody. But they suffer in the end. They could also be maliciously cold assholes that, you know need to learn how to um you know handle things in a more emotionally mature way okay period we got the hair font taurus energy this person definitely has taurus in their chart they're spiritual this person is a spiritualist they may have an immature side to them they may have childlike qualities childlike abilities or just act like a fucking kid they need to learn how to uh, communicate more effectively or this is something that they're currently doing or they have already learned these things okay remember take the reading how it resonates mm -hmm. they are a manifester the ace of pentacles the four of pentacles they know how to make money baby they know how to party too <laughs> okay yeah they they know how to they, they know how to pick up women, baby. Okay, he knows how to do that. He does not like a woman wanting him or having a woman in his bed, okay? If he wants her, he knows how to make that happen, period. Mm -hmm. and he may use his money to make it happen. I mean, what man doesn't? Okay, let's just talk about it. We got the Seven of Pentacles mm. and the Devil. He could be a very powerful, influential type, type of man. She could be a very powerful, influential type of woman, okay? They could definitely have a big appetite. They could be greedy, you know what I'm saying? They they fuck hard. They they love food. They overindulge in relationships. They just, they may go overboard in, in everything they do, okay? They could definitely be selfish and spiteful, period, and obsessive. We got the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. He doesn't mind a little competition, okay? If there's, if there's somebody he wants, he doesn't mind. He'll go after her. He'll pursue her. We got the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. He definitely has his eye on you or he knows you or, you know, once he has his eye on you, it's, it's you, okay? I feel like once he commits to someone, he commits. He commits, okay? He could be Cuban, okay, Spanish. Once he commits, he commits. We got the Eight of Swords. Now, will you always, you know, there's a, there's a process with this person, just like there's a process with every human, okay? I feel like he's maturing or he, you know, that's a process. We all, we all are imperfect, okay? I don't feel like this person, this new person is a bad person. They just need to learn how to communicate better, okay? Express what you're feeling. Don't bottle things up inside, okay? Especially when you're married or in a, or in a serious, serious connection or commitment. Mm. The Eight of Swords. He likes dominant sex. He may like you to tie him up, blindfold him. She may like to be dominant sexually. Okay. You know, they may like you to put ice on them or whipped cream or blindfold them. You know, handcuffs. Mm -hmm. They may they may like to watch other people make love to their person. Okay. Yeah, they may like threesomes. This person has a sexual side. Very sexual. Okay, we got the high priestess. You're someone that can't be... Like, nobody's going to get fucking over on you, okay? They won't be able to get over on you. This person uh, pretty much knows that already if they know you. And I feel like some of these people already know who you are. They've encountered you. Let's just say that. 
This could be your true twin flame, your real one, your real baby, not the fake one, not the false one, not the dethroned one, not the fallen angel, the real one. Okay, he knows who you are. She knows who you are. <sighs> you have the capabilities of really, really ending things for him. You know how to snatch his ass off his high horse. He come home all arrogant and cocky and shit like that. You're not going to tolerate that shit. Okay, you make him you make him feel like a little boy. And you know what I'm saying? You know how to put him in his place. Okay, respectfully. You're the high priestess, okay? Yeah, <laughs> okay. That other sh that shit may work with other people. That shit don't work with you. We got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. Yeah, that 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 haughtiness and that arrogance and that pride may work with other people. It don't work with the high priestess. Mm -hmm. You may be guarded towards anyone. He may be guarded at this time. This is a powerful manifester that's working on their finances at this particular time as you watch this particular message. We got the Six of Swords. They have a spiritual team. They are a spiritualist. Yes. Mm -hmm. They know how to make things happen. Not only for them, but for the people that they care about. I hope you enjoyed this particular message. Just know that this person is possibly already in your energetic field. Especially if he's a twin flame. Especially if she's a twin flame. They're kind of already in your energetic field, honey. And it looks like they will be coming in or they will be reaching out or they want to reach out or there's just going to or they're going to just continue to be in the background spiritually at this time. They could be going through a divorce or breakup or just going through a hard time in life or with a particular person in life. <sighs> Take this particular message how it resonates. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.